Hey, Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Ben. And we are back with another exciting battle report. It's Alpha Strike, Ben. Alpha Strike. Yeah. Back, yeah. back on Alpha Strike. So I would like the viewers to know that at the point of filming this battle report, as we do film things weeks, sometimes months in advance, yeah. as post-production does take time, I do not have my Kickstarter. Oh. Don't have it yet, Ben. <laughs> but I'm hoping by the time this video comes out, I've already done my unboxing. So future me will be very happy. <laughs> Present me, which is past me at the point of viewing, yes. not happy. Yeah, I, I too. I'm super bummed. You haven't gotten it yet. No, no. no. I, I, you know, everybody talks about yeah. emails, like some kind of confirmation email. Yeah, I haven't gotten anything. I just, I just hope it shows up at this point. At I've this point. been a part of Kickstarters, not Catalyst ones, but other Kickstarters. Where they just don't come. I have been royal, royal over on Kickstarter. So I was very hesitant to get into this one just because of that. So I'm, I'm on like pins and needles just in general. <laughs> just like oh. losing sleep. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of losing sleep, the Great Death Legion also losing sleep. Yes. Uh, so in this Ill Clan era battle report, which takes place on the darling planet of New Exford. <laughs> Look how beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful. Lush, yeah. uh, lush mountainous regions here with, with rivers and freshwater processing plants. Yes. So the Grey Death Legion in the Oak Clan era is, is, is like back to life. Like, yes. Like the phoenix from the ashes. Yeah. Uh, and they are doing some things. They were in Steiner space and then they leave for Draconis Combine space and it's, it sort of stops there, I think. Yeah. Uh, at least to, to my, up to my reading point. Um, so our story takes place with sort of a subsidiary, you know, maybe subcontract type unit of Grey Death Legion. I was I was thinking maybe Delta Company because they go company. they have cannon up to Charlie. Oh, okay. But, you know, a good mercenary always keeps a little extra. Yeah, a little extra. So. A little extra in their back pocket. So Delta Company <laughs> yeah. here. So no Carlisles. No, yeah, yeah, no none. Carlisles. These are these are all no names. Yeah. Uh, these are these are not. <laughs> these are like red shirts. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, so, so on New Exford, right, they were doing garrison duty. It's on the border with Clan Jade Falcon space. Um, Steiner, unfortunately, uh, failed to pay. They didn't pay him, yeah. guys. So now Great Death Legion has taken matters into their own hands, and they're going to lift some goods before they get off this world and head into uh, Combine space, where they most certainly also won't be paid. Um, <laughs> so this is basically an objective <laughs> raid. Enough. Great Death Legion is attacking. My Donegal Guard are defending. Uh, we're doing a very simple, an oldie but a goodie, seize ground mission. Yeah. So we basically divide the board into four quadrants. Uh, if you control more than your opponent, you get an objective point, all right? Um, and so, you know, needless to say, we kind of start, we both are going to control two, yeah. but then it de depends on how we want to advance and defend and things like that. So it should be interesting, especially with the terrain kind of cutting across the middle here. Uh, so we'll see. Ben's force has a couple of more units. In true Steiner fashion, I have lots of armor, yes. and I'm kind of slow, uh, but we'll see what happens. So, Ben, are you ready, sir? I'm ready. 
All right, well guys, stay tuned. Alpha Strike action coming your way. All right, we're back. Uh, it is turn after turn one, basically. So, you know, the moved um, as a defender, uh, you know, I picked my side, I move on first, I did my things. So I've got, you know, basically the, the King Crab and the LRM carrier in the right hand quadrant, but the King Crab is able to kind of split the difference. It'll probably take him 10 turns to cross this line, but he'll get there. Uh, if you I keep him near the line, it makes sense. My, my Steiner fast units over here, okay? My Warhammer and my Griffin. Known for their speed. Known for their speed. <laughs> Blazing speed. This one goes 40 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're basically coming up uh, on, on this uh, this left-hand flank for me. And, and you know, this, this terrain is going to be tricky, uh, but the Griffin can jump, which is a good thing. The Warhammer, I don't know. I may, I may take him inside. I got to see. Um, LRM carrier is probably going to park it when he gets up here. And then, I don't know. If I could have airdropped him, like, right on top of this thing. <laughs> That would have been uh, that would have been even better. Steiner, but, known for their paratroopers, para, para LRM <laughs> carriers. <laughs> you just put a giant parachute on it. It's like the oh, Mars man. rovers that they have in the big balls. Yeah, you know? if like, they uh, if they, they would bounce about, if they yeah. could, they would. They would. They would yeah. do it. I mean, that's definitely something that should exist in the 32nd century. You know what? We'll house rule it. You'll switch them to this side. Have the Karnovs airlift them onto it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. Why didn't I think of that? Oh well, it's a missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. Next time, guys. Next time. Uh, so tell us what your lovely Grey Death Legion, beautifully painted, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just amazing. I'm amazed at your paintwork, man. Thanks. So what, what do you got going on over there? So I have the Orion. I have the big boys in the center, which may not be a great idea because the King Crab's scary. Um, and they can s s kind of figure out where they want to go. These guys were definitely going to hold the right flank yeah. um, with the Centurion taking the lead. And I got the little sneaky guys over here hoping that I can do jump jet shenanigans but uh, they're very fragile. <laughs> this is a mean-ass Marauder over here, Ben. I, I, I Mad 7S. Mad is in the name. He's very angry. He's angry. <laughs> He's angry. <laughs> What's he got? All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. I don't know. It's Alpha Strike. It's Alpha I don't know what Strike. he's got. Yeah. A couple yeah. of guns. He's got guns. All he's the guns. guns. Yeah. And, and guns here, and guns here, and guns here. It's a 444. Four, four. Oh, that's. Uh, and then three at extreme range, which reminds me, we should talk about what it, optional rules we are using. Yes. All right. So these are, uh, these are rules that you can find in the back of the Alpha Strike Commander's Edition. Yes. Uh, but there are a handful of optional rules that we are using. Mm -hmm. uh, the first optional rule is basically the, the hex mat conversion scale, which is one to one. So basically just have the movement, have the ranges, like all that sort of thing. Uh, the second rule is we are using the long range targeting rules. Mm -hmm. All right, so that changes the modifiers from 0, 2, 4, 6 to 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. Now uh, that fourth one is extreme range, which is another optional rule that we're using. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the other one that we're using, which I think is very commonly used, is the multiple attack rolls uh, rule, which is you would roll 2d6 for every point of damage. Um, however, we modify that with our house rule, which we call the pilot die, uh, where you would roll, you know, one different color die and then a number of dice. So if I'm shooting three damage, I would roll my pilot die and three damage, and I would add this to each one of these. So I would have an 11, 11, and an 8. Yeah. Just watch out. My dice are hot, bro. Hey, okay. It is. <laughs> so that's how we do it. So those are the optional rules we're using. Again, uh, all of those, except for the pilot die piece, which is a modification, yeah. are all in Alpha Strike Commander's Edition. Yep. Uh, it's a great way to play. Sort of stretches out your game of Alpha Strike a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think puts a little bit more emphasis on movement. Yes. You know, even if you have fast-moving units like a Locust or a Savannah Master, you're not doing loop-de-loops around a four-by-four table. Yeah. Like you can still you still have limited uh, limited movement. So uh, that's my that's my my spiel there. Now that said. We're done this turn. Nobody can shoot. Nobody's in range. Extreme range is 30 inches, um, by the way, and it's your long range damage value minus one. That's how you calculate the uh, the damage value there. But nobody's within 30 inches. So we're going to move into turn two. We'll roll for initiative, and then we'll get right in it. So guys, stay tuned. Turn two is coming right up.
All right, we're back on new X. Is it Exford? New Exford? I, I think it's Exford, yeah. New Exford. Everybody knows New <laughs> Go Exford. back to the beginning and check for us. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what the name of the planet yeah. is. Um, all right, so we're like more tactical movement. Uh, now, here's the deal. On turn two is when you can start scoring, all mm -hmm. right? Unfortunately, we both own two quadrants. Yeah. All right, so you have two, I have two, nobody gets a point. Also, everybody sprinted. By raw alpha strike rules, when you sprint, you cannot shoot. Also, when you sprint, you don't get any bonus on TMM. That's how we're playing tonight. Uh, I don't like it, but that's the way it is. Yeah. So uh, it's simple. It keeps it simple. Everybody sprinted, there's no shooting. But I'll tell you what I did anyway. Griffin and Warhammer are kind of splitting up here. Again, I do have the option to kind of jump. Uh, the Warhammer kind of looks like the Kool-Aid man, so I might be able to run him right through the war, uh, the water tank there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, King Crab is very carefully negotiating the hill. Yeah. LRM Carrier, which the six means it has no TMM, even when it sprints, it's doing its best. Uh, <laughs> mm, he's like, more power to the engines! <laughs> uh, like the dude in the back's like shoveling coal into the furnace. <laughs> oh, no. Um, Combat vehicles, <laughs> top, top of the line stuff. Top of the line here in the 32nd century. And then the Marauder uh, coming around this way. Now, I know these guys are here, but I, but the Marauder's like like the dog that like just pretends it can't see you, you know? Yeah. But he knows yeah. they're there. Oh, well, the thing is, is, even though they're there, they can't do much on the best of days. So. Well, I'm a little concerned because I do think you can use the hill for some shenanigans. So I'm debating on whether or not I need to get the Marauder up in there. I don't know. But again, they can't control this back quadrant, but they can annoy me, yeah. which is what they're best at. Um, yeah. But anyway, Blue let's balls. talk about the Great Death Legion. I'm just admiring your paint jobs there. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, You'll have them on the turn. I love soon. the love the copper on the Crusaders, like, you know, the little cooling. Yeah, I figured it had to be some kind of, like, neat alloy. It's you a know? very cool, very yeah. cool look. Um, anyway, tell us what you did there. Uh, basically, same as before. I have my my Orion is is helping hold this because he's really the only heavy hitter on this on this side. All right. Crusaders going up the middle to kind of. He hasn't decided where he's going yet, but these guys are gonna. I'm gonna do some LRM shenanigans next turn. I think is my, is my hope. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm hoping too. We'll see. All right. Well, turn three. LRM shenanigans yeah. on the way. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. stay tuned. Grab some popcorn, it's about to get exciting. Yeah. All right. Yep. Here we go. Turn three coming right up. All right. Uh, it is turn. It's turn three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's turn three. Things are getting things are getting toasty up in here, as they say. Uh, I think that's what they say. That's what they say in uh, on New Exford. Yeah. It's a <laughs> common get, expression. Get toasty. Get toasty. Very man. very common expression. Bra, so I, I, I brought yeah. I lost initiative again. This third term in a row. All right. Um, only two were determined by dice rolls, though. To be fair. Yeah. Sprinted my Griffin, trying to take some cover here behind this uh, this freshwater pumping facility. Warhammer moved up, it's got guns down range, probably on that Orion. King Crab uh, waddled down the hill a little bit more, has a couple of targets, could even torso twist and try to delete that stinger if he so desired, but that TMM is very, very high because yeah. of the jump. Uh, Marauder swung around, now I, Gotta take a quick peek here and see is the Marauder is is the oh yeah the Stinger so the Stinger is in the Marauder's front arc yep. um, so I could could hit that could hit the Orion uh, or or is there there might be cover I don't, I don't even I don't even know Ben hmm. maybe there's cover and then the LRM carrier can see a couple of things there uh, as well um, so I have options. Yeah. All right. I get to shoot first, but why don't you tell us what you did from a movement perspective while I decide what I want to annihilate? So I'm hiding my indirect fire in cover, and I wanted to make sure I could start taking shots at the Griffins. So that's why the Centurion's out there. That's me. Honestly, I kind of didn't know what to do with the Orion, and I 
probably exposed him to more guys than I should have. <laughs> Nay, in hindsight, hindsight being clearer, but um, kind of same thing. I just wanted to make sure I held the squadron yeah. with that guy, but kept him close enough to, to bebop over there if he needed to. Those guys are trying as best they can to be a huge pain in the neck. I could not quite get far enough into your rear arc, though. But oh yeah, there's but always you're, time. <laughs> but you're in the you're in my in my zone. In your zone. In your zone. Which I don't like. I don't like that you're in my zone. Well, I mean, they're not much of a threat. Yeah, but you get you get you're going to get a control point this turn unless I kill the stinger. Yeah. Or do I just eat it and try to take out the Orion, which is a much easier, easier target? So let's do a couple of, couple of math things here. So we're at long range there. Uh, we are at, I mean, can the Marauder even see the Stinger? I don't know. If right, you... Why don't you come around? You, you let me know while I measure some other things here. Honestly, long range, extreme range. No. Yeah, I, mean, I don't. Stinger can only see the King Crab. He can't yeah. even. He can't even really see the, he can only see like the back of the Warhammer even. Yeah, so the King Crab is only, um, it's only one damage <clears throat> at long range, so that doesn't really help me very much. Crabs are not known for their long range damage potential. It's a true story. Uh, unless it has the twin, this is a twin Gauss variety, which, you know, we all know and love. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to fire everything at the Orion, okay? Uh, we are going to, at least, unless I kill it. Yeah, miraculously. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're gonna work your way this way. <clears throat> or, well, all right. From so there, there, there. we're gonna start with the LRM carrier. All right. I'm using, I'm using my wonderful DFA cards, which you should get for free on our website. Uh, these are very cool because uh, there's a couple of check boxes where you can switch it to one to one range and the modifiers that we use. Right. Those optional rules. There's some toggle boxes there. So uh, they also have all the points and skill levels at the bottom, so it makes it a little easier, uh, at least for me. I should have done that, and I, I ran. I like the I like the original ones. When you're playing like normal scale, I think those are great. But yeah. if you're playing the the hex map scale, I do Th like ours because it does all the math. Yeah. So speaking of math, all right, I'm gonna need uh, this guy's skill two. Everyone else in my force is skill three. So we're gonna start. We're gonna start with the LRM carrier. He's at extreme range. He does four damage. So three, four, five, six. I only need. I need eight. Because you didn't move. Your TMM stinks. <laughs> Alright, so I need eights. Here we go. Oh no, that. Alright, did not acquire a lock. Uh, so the Marauder's up next. He does three down. Uh, actually, he's at long range, four damage. He's going to need a. He's only going to need sevens. I got one more. This is not going well. Uh, Warhammer, two damage, also needs sevens. All right, that's two more. Uh, and then the King Crab does one damage. Ugh. Oh, it needed sixes because he's skill two. Oh, nice. Uh, that's, uh, that's, hey, that's a little bit of help. Every little bit helps. He's about halfway, so. That wasn't good, though. I needed full damage, full damage, full damage, critical hit. Uh, you could have been. You would have been good for full damage on two. That probably would have stripped it. Yeah, that was a, that was disappointing. But that is why we play the multiple attacks rule. You know, yeah. um, rule because it makes it a little bit more fun. Otherwise, it's like two d six you're dead. Yeah, that's that's not my favorite. Oh, uh, that that. I like I like this this immersion. Like I imagine yeah. different weapons hitting. I like that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh man. All right. So I'm done shooting. Griffin can't shoot because he sprinted. Okay. So that means you're up, sir. <clears throat> All righty. Uh, I think I will start off with the Centurion. Okay. Uh, let me see what my Now, is the Centurion one... spotting for the... He will be spotting for the trebuchet. And he's also shooting. Yes. So, so he's, he's modifiers. Take an additional modifier. Right, right. So the oh, spotter... So if you're two. spotting, it's plus one just for him. And then if the spotter's attacking... The base of the trebuchet is going to take plus take two. Plus two, yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm um, three. I'm a stickler. I'm, no, no, that's good. I'm a stickler for indirect firing, Ben. Oh, that's important. He can indirect fire two base knock gun. Um, so I, uh, can he spot for himself? <laughs> I hope so. They got enough widgets and gadgets in there. You can do it on. Uh, what do I need? He's skill three. Uh huh. We're at medium range, so. 
I'm an idiot. I should have put the modifiers on the page. No, it's just two. Plus one, plus two. Yeah, three and four. Four. Yeah. So three, four, five, six because of cover, yeah. seven because I'm shooting through cover. Correct. Sound eight because of spotting. Okay. Sound good? Seems reasonable. That's a hearty no from the dice. <laughs> I can't even read those gray death dice, Ben. They're, That's why I picked them. They're so, it's like, oh, they're all sixes. <laughs> That's why I picked them. I it's didn't like pick them so because many they match. Speckles. Yeah. No, they're, they do look very gray death legion y, though. I awesome. love the, the theme dice. Kind of pinky, I guess, because the way they, they dye the red in. Oh. And eventually they'll wear clean. I've had ones like it before. But, <laughs> but now they, they once, you, once you put them through the thing that them. spins them and like weights them to like the six side. I would never do that. Never. I would never do that. I, I'm relying on plot armor. I like the plot armor. I'm relying on you plot armor. You have no armor. Carlisles, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, they're, the, the spirit of Carlisle is upon them. Upon them. Like Wolf Jesus. <laughs> yeah, like Wolf Jesus. <laughs> so we're going to do the indirect fire with the trebuchet. I'm indirect fire two, so that's two dice, right. right? And I'm skill two today. That's a, I imagine like the missiles just coming out of the tops of the trees. <laughs> <laughs> There's some environmentalists who very fire. upset with me shooting through the canopy. So, you just hit a monkey on the way out. There's monkeys on this world. There's too, monkeys? You know? Oh, yeah. New expert. That's a primary <sighs> export. Monkeys. <laughs> I have a friend that, that travels to the Pacific, and he says monkeys are quite mean. He exports monkeys? No, he doesn't export oh. monkeys. He, he doesn't want anything to do with monkeys. Right. They bite him, and they throw yeah. things. And they do throw things. Like yeah, poop. Yeah. yeah, he's not they a fan. Fun fact. You'll learn it here on the channel. <laughs> monkey fact channel. <laughs> not DFA. We're going to rename it Monkey Notice fact channel. the trebuchet attacks the monkey in the canopy. <laughs> That's right. So you need <laughs> so two, three, three, four for range, five, six because of spotting, seven, eight for cover, cover. Right? Uh, certain, so let me go back again. Two. Well, he's skill three, right? No, he's skill two. Oh, what a jerk. Then, yeah, you yeah. need eights. Yeah. Two, three, four. Who picks five, as six. many skill two units? Well, <laughs> Gray Death Legion. Yeah, does. yeah. They're, they're the they, best of the best. They may be the B squad, but they're still amazing. Yeah. So. Nope, nope, nope. No. So missiles slam into the precious freshwater processing we're facility. Des destroying what we can. Natural take. spring water spraying across the battlefield. <laughs> Crisp 55 degree spring water. Mm. Natural spring water. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, let me see if I can do something with the Orion. Who am I going to shoot at here? I don't know, I, bro. I think I'm going to shoot at... Your stinger. I think I'm going to shoot at the warhammer. I could shoot the, the wasp in the back. What's our range there? 19 inches. So we're in long. What is that card? Um, all right, so three. Three dice. Yeah. At long? At long. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It is, it's strong. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. XXL, what Orion is it? Uh, o N 2 M. M, yeah. The M has got interesting things, yeah. yeah. So start right. with three. I'm skill two it. again because I'm Great Death Legion. So two. Shocking. Three, four, five, six, because of cover. Mm -hmm. I think six, right? I think so. Two, three. Skill, TMM. Range is five. Yeah. Cover. That sounds right. Yeah, I think that's what I needed to shoot you. So. Yeah, that makes sense. So. Oh, boy. Uh, well, oh, you got one. robbed. I did get robbed. One. Just and one that's damage. the king crab? No, uh, no, that's the warhammer. Oh, warhammer. That's the warhammer. All right. I know better than to shoot the king crab until he gets really close and is a threat. Yeah. No, he's going he's gonna to cause all kinds of trouble for me. We're going to do cross town to the marauder. I'm sure that's at long range as well. Probably not. Yeah, that's long range. And skill two for him, three dice at long. So we're two, four, five, six because of cover and TMF. All right. Going again. One damage. You are not having a good dice night, Ben. No. But then again, neither am I. No, so I'm, I'm saving my, my rolls. For, smart. We are at long range. Critical moments. Long and extreme. So uh, I think. Think, do I have any dice at long range for that guy? Probably not. Nope. That's it for me. All right. All the other little dudes are so out. So we're done. We're, we're done, done this turn. Uh, turn three is at an end. Just paints uh, chipping off the mechs, but that's about it. Yeah. There's really yeah. no significant damage. Well, the Orion's at half armor, but everybody else is just chilling. True. The big news, though, 
is that you deny this quadrant from me because of this jerk. Yeah. Uh, so you fully control two, I only fully control one, which means you get a primary objective point. Bravo, Ben. That's my plan uh, all along. But for how long? For how long? So we'll see what happens here. I mean, speed is not on my side, but durability is. Uh, so turn four is coming up. Will the Donegal Guard be able to fend off the Grey Death Legion, these water bandits? Water, W-U-D-D-E-R, <laughs> water bandits uh, from New Exford. I don't know, we'll see. So um, fun fact, I knew Aaron was from this area just by accident. Yeah, it's true. We know we know our kind. Yeah. We know our kind. I'm not from here. My wife from this. Oh, she it. recognized. She it was it. like, he goes to Wawa and drinks water. <laughs> yeah, water. Yeah, it's a true story. All right, well, listen. Uh, the monkeys are now angered, so that will be in my favor for next turn. Yeah, it's going to be plus one all eye shooting to the monkeys. Yeah, exactly. They'll climb it all on your cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> who needs who needs elementals when you have native monkeys? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be the, the primary export. Well, we're, we're we're write a battle Let's write a shrapnel story about this. The monkeys of New Exford. Oh, it's it's challenge happening. accepted. It's happening, folks. <laughs> uh, leave your ideas in the comments. Yeah. Uh, we'll take them now. Uh, but that said, turn four is coming up. Don't go away. All right, guys, it's turn four. Uh, shenanigans underway. Yes. So I think some things might get hurt this turn. Uh, we are, uh, we're, we're, Ste we're in Steiner range, as I like to call it, which, oh, is, yeah. which is medium or less. Yeah. Um, now, I won initiative, which was great. Uh, ben, so why don't you tell us what you did first, and then I will tell you how I responded. So I, I, I lost initiative and then proceeded to move all my, but my lightest units into terrible positions. Great. <laughs> no, I, I was trying to hedge my bets on things, and uh, and my gambles didn't pay off. Yeah, but I, we're still going to get shots in there. We're gonna, this is going to be the turn of the shoe stings. It's going to be shoe stings, as as Dan likes to call yeah. it. Um, so basically, what I did in response to your movement was I, I leaped my Griffin into the water. Um, there's no piloting checks in Alpha Strike. You do whatever you want, man. Just drop I, right in. So he did like a triple backflip. And landed it in in water. So not Super only do I pose. get yeah. Uh, so not only do I get the TMM bump for jumping, but I also get an additional cover bonus because I'm in water. Yeah, and so it's fantastic. Heat. You got a heat advantage if you got overheat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I'm just. I, I don't think he does because he's a griffin. He barely does any damage. Uh, you know? Well, he's got mobility though. He's got some mobility, and I'm in your. I'm in your zone. Yes, you I'm are. in your zone, bruh. You are All right. firmly in my zone. So. <laughs> so, both these guys are medium range to the uh, to the Crusader. Yeah, the yeah. Warhammer can see through here. King Crab can see there. Very excited about that. I would have loved to have stayed on that Orion because I've already put four pips on them, but it's just too juicy. These guys are such a jump from their long to medium range yeah. that I think I'm going to stay there. And I may even turn the guns of the Marauder on this. Now, I did, after you move this guy, I did angle him so that he was supposed to be like this, you know. Well, you it's vibrated it. a little bit. We kind it's of been vibrating. Thing. Things have been vibrating as, <laughs> as I've been firmly getting into Ben's zone. <laughs> um, so the Marauder, basically, this guy's still in his front arc, but I, I'm not going to shoot him. I just don't want to get shot in the rear arc. Yeah. I'm either going to hit this Orion or I'm going to decide to shoot this, but I'm going to let you shoot and see what happens first. Uh, and then my LRM carrier, he's just, he's idling. Yeah. The guy who was shoveling coal into the furnace got tired, so they're not moving anymore. Uh, but I am in long range to uh, to the Crusader and also this Orion. Uh, long range for this is five points of damage. So I have some big numbers to throw around this turn. Yeah. Very, very excited. If something doesn't die, I will be sad. I have confidence that something will die. <laughs> Hopefully it's, it's not me. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, we don't want that. Could happen. If you roll nothing but sixes, if it, if I roll nothing but sixes, I'm gonna we're fall going out. to Vegas, buddy. Yeah, yeah, we're going to Vegas. Tell your wife we're getting on a plane. Yeah, all righty. Yeah, we'll expense it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, okay, so I'm going to start with my shooting. I'm going to start with kind of my basic stuff. I'm going to go kind of this way. All right. I like uh, that. Medium, not short. So, because short's three inches. I keep forgetting. I know. It's very short. That's very short. So we'll stick with medium. Fun fact. There was talk, I thought, of them revising short range to six inches. Leave it in the comments. I could have yeah. sworn I heard that. I don't know if it was like just banter and maybe like, you know, something on a forum kind of got out of control. Um, or if like we or heard people were spitballing. Yeah, like, oh, this yeah. Thing. Tell me if that was the thing they were kicking around. I would love to see that because short range, even in a two to one, it's almost like you're almost always in medium range, you yeah. know? Yeah. And I know the PV and stuff is based on a very specific formula. Yeah. You know, um, and medium range is, is weighted twice as much as long and short, but I almost never use short range, even in two to one. I'm, I'm very rarely in short range. Yeah. Um, so, sorry for that that side note. No, I like right. it. I, I I endorse that change if they decide to make that. Yeah, I, I think it'd be a good do. one. All right, let me see what he's got. He's a medium, so we got three dice. I'm gonna overheat one because that's how I roll, man. Yeah. Um, so we go three. Four, five, six for your jumping, seven, eight for range. Yeah. Nine, ten for shooting through cover and you're in. Oh, the intervening woods. Yeah, intervening woods. Is it more than, was it more than two? Yeah, no, that's one. That's, yeah, that's one inch. I mean, yeah. it, it's, I was just, I, yeah, you're right. But I intervening guess. woods and your hole down in the water. That's so right. That's tens. Yeah. Just like the, the straw, like I just had the straw coming up Full through snorkel. the water. Little <laughs> snorkel. Well, that's, a, yeah, that was like a Jeep. Like if we were off road oh. with Jeep, he's got a snorkel. Oh Let's see if I can hit tens on a stupid overheat. Not happening. No. Ooh, no. So close. No point. So close. I mean, the great death dice, they're all wild. They are. They're whatever they are. you want them to be. Oh, you, you overheated. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. I missed that. All um, right. So what else you got? So we're going to do the trebuchet medium because that's not three either. Okay. So we got oh, three. C skill two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. Oh, there's Whoa, three pips. There's three pips. All right. So that is on the Griffin. Griffin, Griffin takes three pips, 50% of his armor. That's uh that's a significant blow, as yeah. it were. Uh we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing with the Crusader. He has overheat too, and I'm doing it. Is he skilled too? He is also skilled too. Is he shooting through woods or no? He's shooting through woods. Okay. I um, won't argue. I'm, I'm, you know me, Aaron. I like to take stupid risks on, on really long chances. So two, five, six, seven, plus range, which is medium. Eight, nine, yeah. Eight, nine. So that's reasonable. Yeah. All right. It's, it's One, reasonable. Two, four, wait, six. Okay. Come on, pilot die. Oh, no. but I see. Yeah, dude, you nailed fi a whole bunch of them. Five pips. No, nines, right? Oh, did you say nines? Well, let's see. So let's, let's, let's go walk it back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Oh, Missed. I thought you said eights. No, Man, no, nines. you did say nines. That's I right. I said nines. I didn't make it. Oh, no. Close, but no cigar. And he's overheated, too. <sighs> so many monkeys have been, have been killed this turn. <laughs> the monkeys are going to go to war with me if you don't. They already. are They are very upset with Legion right now. Uh, so, well, well, we'll we'll continue to make bad choices. Uh, I'm going to go the Into the Marauder? Into the Marauder. He's, he's doing good. Marauder feels good about life. So he's five at medium because he's Woo! got the guns. It's the old clan era. Yeah. Everybody's five at medium. Two, three for TMM, four for cover, five, six, four range. Okay. Shoot. Okay, that was That's two. That's four pips, yeah. yeah? Yep. Wow. Okay. One, two, three, and four. They are sufficiently marked. That's a lot. That's a lot. All right. Um, Stinger at your Marauder. He skill three. I got one die at you. It's a medium range of one. Yes. He's shooting. <laughs> so he's, he's shooting his water three, balloon cannon four. at me. <laughs> little squirt gun. Ah! <laughs> so, so he's three, four, five, six for jumping. Okay. So I'll take it. 
Pips. You got it. Yeah. All right. Hey, every every pip counts. That's what they say. And I'm gonna run around here. All right. Try not to try not to mess up the filming. And he, yeah, I'll do the same thing with the wasp. He's medium as well. I wonder if I should shoot one of these freaking losers. <laughs> they are. They are. They're gonna be annoying. They're gonna be so annoying. They're already so annoying. So he is skill three, four, five, six for range. Okay. Oh two two more pips. That's internal, dude. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding, you jerk hole. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, <laughs> they are eight. annoying. You're going to have to smoke one. I'm like, okay, I, so I two, so it's 2d6. Actually, there's no confirmation. You just roll 2d6. The table is here. You rolled a 10. Damn. That's fire control, oh, those which is suck. the worst. It's the worst. I, I hate that crit so much. It's, I mean, I get it. It's literally the worst crit in the game. <laughs> it's so brutal. All right, we're going to do that. That's it. Bring the pain, man. I don't feel good about my life. Bring um, the pain. All right. Where do I want to start? So I think we're going to start with the um, we're going to start with the Warhammer onto the Crusader. All right. I always like to start. I've said this before. I always like to start with the like the units that have the least options. In yeah, Armistrike, yeah. Right. Like the Warhammer could theoretically shoot the Orion. But he's probably not, right? I mean, we're gonna focus here. He's got better options. He's got a lot of options. He's got lots of options. Him, I'm probably gonna shoot him next there, but we'll see. Yeah. So anyway, start with the Warhammer. Three, four. Uh, is there cover? That's a good question. I nah, don't I don't think, think so. so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so three, four, five, six is what I got. Ooh. Right? Yeah. All right. That's four pips. <laughs> Three, four, so that's, he's half gone. I don't, well, I'll, I guarantee your guys have a lot of structure, don't they? Uh, why would you say, why would you make such an egregious <laughs> assumption about my selection of mechs? Oh, uh, it's just a, an instinct. You have a type. You have I'm a type. type. I have a type. Yeah, you have a type. Uh, I will tell you, my Marauder does not. My Marauder's down to two pips of oh, structure. He's, he's got a stupid XL. XL. Engine. Yeah. I went anybody XL else, head. I tried to select non XL uh, varieties because you know I like pips. Yeah. But you know, the Marauder Marauder had seven pips of armor, so that wasn't it wasn't insignificant. He just I don't know got got just blown apart here. So all right, so King Crab is going to go next at the Crusader. Uh, how many pips does a Crusader have? The Crusader has three more on armor, only three structure. We're going to overheat one. Yeah. Because I only need fives. Do it. I only need fives because I'm skill two. Is this the first time you've overheated now? In my, in my life. <laughs> uh, it's the first time. We're seeing it first here on the channel. First time I've ever overheated. So uh, I am going to overheat one. It gives me six pips. So many pips. That's so many pips on five. If I whiff this, I'm going to cry. Uh, here, I'll watch. cry We're for gonna you. We're going to start here. Oh, don't, you shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> you shouldn't have said anything. All right, well, I get four. Four, that's good. So it's he's not stripped good. and internal. All right, so I'm going to roll for a critical hit. Yeah, go for it. We Nine, got? that's nothing. Oh. oh. <clears throat> One of two nothing. Three, results. four, five, six, seven, eight. I need eights with the griffin against the crusader. Yeah. Put them down. There it is. Bring okay. It. All righty. He did. Well done, Griffin. Well done. All right. So the Crusader's down now. My Marauder uh, is gonna is gonna hit one of these little turds here. All right. They're very annoying. My, my recommendation is a wasp. <clears throat> is that what you think? He's easier to hit, I think. Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> All right. So shoot one of my guys, please, Aaron. Three, six. I would need eights or eights to hit him, nines to hit him. So, so in order for me to hit the Orion, I would need a three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would need sixes. That's much better. Yeah, I want to shoot the Orion. Yeah. And check this out. Second time on the channel, I want to overheat. Overheat. Yeah. It's happening. Um, it's 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 happening, guys. So, so he is at one. King Crab's at one. Five pips going into the Orion. I need sixes. Oh, don't do it again. <laughs> there you go. You get it. I only got three. Three. <clears throat> not so what I needed there. He's stripped, but he's not internal. 
All right, well, good news, uh, Steiner fans. My LRM carrier has not fired yet. I'm gonna fire into uh, this guy over here. Yeah. This is Wol Wolfgang Carlisle. You didn't know about him, but he's in the lore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wolfgang Carlisle is like the estranged step nephew. That's right. Step nephew. All right. Uh, oh, but twice removed. Twice removed. Yeah. And he happens to be just at long range of my LRM carrier there. Uh, I want to overheat with that too. Good call. I, I'm kidding. I can't. It doesn't have overheat? No. With it only has to do shoveling coal into the furnace. <laughs> no, vehicles can overheat. Oh. Hello. Only, right only right aerospace right can. So uh, aerospace and battle max. I can't wait. My infantry can overheat too. They're special. My monkeys. My monkeys can <laughs> monkey, overheat. Your monkey overheat. commandos can overheat. They can overheat. They're like <laughs> cyborg monkeys. Oh, cyborg monkeys. All right, so watch, I need watch this space. <laughs> three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. But I stationary, so sixes. Yeah. That's good. This is really good. It's really good. All right, should I do it? Should I do it again? <sighs> Your dice, man. That one oh. doesn't even want to be. No, <laughs> just leave it. <laughs> just leave it. Yes. Oh, I hit yeah. them all. Yeah. So yeah, it's five do. points oh, of damage. Oh, he's, he's one, two, three, four, five. He's down to one pip, isn't he? He's down to one pip. All right, check this out. Here's my critical roll. 11. <gasps> Engine. Beep, 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 beep. That's not good. I get heat for that, don't I? I don't know what you get. Uh, we'd have to look. I get, I get a little award. Right? I get like the little bronze fist or whatever they give <laughs> Steiner people. Keep shoveling coal into the furnace. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we are but, getting the bronze fist. They are good. You get the bronze fist. <laughs> <laughs> the other dude's like loading missiles in the tube by yeah. hand. I, mean, yeah. I imagine everything's manual. Uh, yeah, I, I guarantee you there's an ox cart somewhere that has all the missiles on it. For sure. Yeah. I just haven't modeled it, but it's on the base, you can assume. I can get you a, 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 a six, six millimeter, millimeter ox cart with missiles. I can find it. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, so that is the end of the turn. Now, Crusaders destroyed. Yep. Orion's almost dead. Orion's hurting, but not dead. Oh, for scoring, yeah. Yeah, he's still You there. are contesting this objective. Yeah, that was super critical. I was trying yeah. to knock you out of that quadrant. You're catching, you're picking up on, on my, my tricks it's here. your game. But you still have that one. This is contested. I have this one. Yeah. So no one gets points. Because I have one, you have one. These are nobodies. Yeah. Because uh, well, the griffins in your Oh, zone. that's right, yeah. If you had killed the Orion, you'd be up one. I would be up one. No, well, I mean, we would be tied, technically. You're still up one mm. from last turn. Yeah. yeah. So we move into turn five. The turn of death and destruction battle. I think this turn will turn to death and destruction. You haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> I haven't because the, the, the king crab's not in short range. No. But I'm playing, I, I feel good about my strategy, which is to knock out your big dudes, yeah. and then I can just bully your little guys, assuming they can't run and hide from me the whole turn, which, you know, they very well could. Yeah. Um, so we'll have to see what happens here. I think it's anybody's game. Turn five, guys. Don't go away. And if you're a GDL fan, go away. I'm just kidding. Don't go away, because we love you. Yeah. Uh, but that said, turn five's coming up. Yeah. Here we go. All righty. All right, guys, we're back on New Exford. Uh, things are exciting for the Donegal Guard. And by exciting, I mean like, I don't know, one of my mechs is almost dead, everybody's overheating. Uh, but I feel like I have the upper hand in this battle. Yeah. I feel like the Grey Death Legion and Wolfgang Carlisle are soon <laughs> soon to be defeated. Why Wolfgang? I love it though. Uh, I, because he's like half German. Yeah, oh yeah, well they are. You know, yeah. he was yeah. like born in Steiner's space. <laughs> I feel like, because like, weren't they hanging out in Steiner's space oh, yeah. for a while? For a long time. It's like a okay. weird like love relationship with that, uh, you know. Yeah. He's like a love child of like one of the Steiner, like Adam Steiner's niece <laughs> thrice removed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is a well, really it's no, a bad it's a bad family situation. It's it's probably something akin to like a really awful anime 
like um, I don't know. Nobleman, I don't watch those. Nobleman made kind of Ooh, thing. I like that. Yeah. We're gonna write the shrapnel story. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. Yeah. And it will involve cyborg monkeys. Um, I like. I imagine he's in his cockpit and he has like a cyborg monkey with like an eye patch on his shoulder. Why? Well, I don't know why it has <laughs> an eye patch though. <laughs> Big poofy, uh, like uh, <laughs> it's like, like German monkey. Renaissance <laughs> clothes. <laughs> Cyborg monkey. <laughs> so great. Um, please, somebody with artistic skill, draw that. Oh, that would be great. Uh, <laughs> that would be, that'd be, frame it, put it in a special spot in the house. So listen, uh, I want initiative again, guys. This is, yeah. this is big in Alpha Strike because when you, when you, you just move everything. Like yeah. you're, you're like stuck. Keeps it quick, but um, it does lock it. Uh, yeah. So you basically, Shuffled some dudes around. Yeah. Your key move was, in my opinion, with these guys. Yep. Yeah. And I almost wonder if I should have tried to eliminate them early, but at the same time, I didn't want to play the dice game where I wasted valuable shooting turns not killing things that were going to kill me back. Yeah. So it may kill me on objective points because now you're basically, you know, using them intelligently to control two quadrants, but I don't know. I got I to gotta figure it all out. I got to figure it all out. All right, so anyway, uh, real short what I did, didn't move. He, he actually went backwards. Yeah. He's hot. I don't think I want to shoot anything this turn because I want to bleed that heat off, but he did move here because I want to cover this tank's, uh, you know, backside, as it were, because, you know, the ox cart, very valuable. It's back there. <laughs> yeah, and, and flammable, too. Yeah. And flammable. Oxes catch fire pretty easily, so <laughs> we got to be careful with that. Uh, the Warhammer climbed over these pipes. I did pay for the difficult terrain and the, all that other stuff. He really didn't go far, but still claims his full TMM. Yeah. I think I'm going to try to shoot the trebuchet. I don't think I can see the Centurion. This fully blocks both of these guys. Yeah. This, this beautiful piece of Thunderhead Studios terrain. It is beautiful. But you can get it Ares Games and Minis. Your number one source for all your battle tech needs. Yeah. Uh, so, are you ready to shoot? I am. All I right. am. I'm going to stand here and hold my breath and hope that you roll nothing but ones. <laughs> well, I'm going to get the Orion out of the way. So those two guys aren't going to shoot because they're they're playing ob objective shenanigans. Um, I mean, he could take a shot at him. You definitely have line of sight. Oh, I forgot the woods. Yeah, they don't block. No, they don't. They, they don't, don't block. Like an inch, it's only maybe. an inch. And you're, yeah. you're at medium range. So uh, I might food fit. for thought. Let me do the Orion first because he's probably going to have a hard time. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what's he got? He's not short, so he's medium. Well, that's probably better for him. So I got, got five dice. And I'm two. Well, what do you say, cover? Yeah, no. Okay. No, oh God, no. Me, the the to the marauder. The marauder, yeah. So I mean, aside from the the smoke two, coming off my mech from the the overheat, the overheat. no, there's no two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh yes, yeah. all of them. That's five hits. The marauder, Jeez. the marauder is destroyed. So the mighty Orion, Wolfgang Carlyle, <laughs> yeah, slays just, the marauder. Yeah. And, uh, in true Grey Death Legion fashion. Pats himself on the back, his monkey's cheering yeah. in the back for him. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Well um, done, master. I mean, they definitely right, have, a cyber it's monkey. A cyber. It's a cyber monkey. Yeah. Alrighty, and I think the only other guy that has shots is the trebuchet. He can't shoot the griffin because there's too much tree oh, in the way. Are you three inches in? I am three inches in from the Griffin, from that. but not three no, inches two from, from the, yeah. okay. the Warhammer. So I'm going to shoot the Warhammer, which isn't really what I want to do, but it'll it'll do for now. So yeah, three dice, twos, threes, fours, five sixes. Wow, shoot, three hits. Wow. Making up for first couple turns. All right. So Warhammer takes three pips. That's a solid shot, my lord. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Ooh, Stinger. Uh, Stinger. You, you, you suggested it. I'm going to take you up on yeah. it. Uh, one dice. He's three. He's four. Well, he's oh. five with the jump. Yeah. But and I didn't move. So five, six, seven, eight. Seven. Nailed it. Nailed it. Now, when you hit a vehicle of this nature, 
Yeah. You have to roll to see if you hit the ox uh, cart. The, that's right, the mobility the, shot. Right, the, the motor check. It is 2d6, now it is tracked, so there's no mod, but a nine or better will result in, no, four. No, that's a four. Not a four. <laughs> Not a nine. My armored ox cart laughs off your pathetic <laughs> laser shot. The guy's getting, we're getting ready to stoke that furnace uh, he's again. He's stoking the furnace, ready. bro. You have no idea right now how much that's furnace is being stoked. <laughs> that's it for me, man. That's it. All right. Well, uh, love. I love Alpha Strike because it goes fast, and you can put lots of models on the board. Yes. Because that's really what it's about. I just want to move my little robots around. Yep. All right. I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Why we it first. Uh, so, we are at medium range. Uh, I have a heat penalty. I have a uh, fire control penalty. Oh, so I'm basically skill control. six, seven, eight, nine oh, is what I need. I'm obviously overheating. Oh, hell yeah. All right. So is that five dice or six dice? Five dice. Okay. Here we go. Oh, he's just like... <laughs> cockpit's like engulfed in flames. Oh. He's like, wolf guy! <laughs> All right. That's so, another cousin. That's another cousin. He's a co it's a yet oh. another cousin. He's the other cousin. Yeah. Yeah. The brother from another mother. That's right. Or something. I don't know. Yeah. Right. They like bullied each other as kids. They hate each oh, other. Oh, they like, hate each through. other. Yeah. This is all going in the shrapnel article. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. We need, <laughs> I need nines. Oh, oh well done. Four. <laughs> Four. <laughs> He's gone. Did he? It's usually a short oh, destruction. That is. What a roll. You didn't need many pips, but he is out of here. Oh, wow. Well done, Marauder. Goes up to two points of heat cooks himself in the cockpit, but yeah. the exposed engine of the Orion doof, 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 just takes it out. But Wolfgang ejects. Wolfgang oh, yeah, yeah, ejects yeah. with his cyborg monkey, yeah, which then transforms wine. into a motorcycle. Uh, and he rides that off. Uh, with a bottle of wine. With a bottle of wine. In, in, a, in like a hamper. In a sidecar. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. All right, well, the Marauder is destroyed. The Orion, though, is also destroyed. Also so destroyed. that's that's big for me. <clears throat> now. Yes, it is. I have some shenanigans up my sleeve. I want to tell you what they are. I'm wondering if the Griffin can see the Wasp. I don't know that it can, though. I'm going to come around. Oh, that's a yeah. I cannot. It's unfortunate. Oh. Snow angle. You're, you're too deep too on the because I was going to indirect fire with the... <laughs> Oh, that would have been that. That would have been Do you, cold, ice cold. How about LOS to the Stinger? I mean, I could just... Can you see him through the trees with the crab? Is there I can. I could do it. Yeah. Um, I thought about it, but I think I think there's too much. Like, if I draw a line of sight... They're going to go like this. They're going to go come out, and they're going to like... Oh, maybe. maybe mm, no, that's going through, like... I'd say that's probably too too deep into the woods. Uh, I, I think. Um, but... I will tell you that this is not out of out of the, the range of touching of this oh, yeah. advanced piece of, mach of Steiner machinery. More coal in the Paris! <laughs> it's like, yeah. you like turn in the Paris. <laughs> oh, man. You get a little tiny wheel. Oh my God, it's so good. Uh, so they're at extreme range. It's only about an inch of woods from, from this angle. Yeah. So <clears throat> skill two because you're stationary. So yep. three minus one. So fa effectively two. Yeah. Three for your TMM. Uh, four, five, six, seven for range, because it's extreme. Yep. Eight for the woods. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good, he says. <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> All right, so it's four dice at extreme range. Here we go. Uh, only one. Oh. Well, that's... Okay. Just one. Hey, just every a little, little bit helps. A little chip. Uh, Warhammer. Okay, we're at medium. That's good yeah. for me. It's four. The Warhammer can overheat. I'm gonna throw that out there, but let me see what target number I need first. We'll, we'll let you know if Battleetics thinks I should overheat or not. Seven. Yeah, three, four, three. five, six, seven. Ooh. Yeah. How much can you overheat by? Just one. Oh, that's not bad. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. He's only got four armor and two structures. So if you lay this on him, it's lights out for close to. I got it. That's oh, five pips. Geez. That's five pips, folks. Two, three, four, five. Wow. He's down to one structure. Roll that crit. All right. So this is this is big. The Warhammer feels good about his life. Okay. A nine. That's no oh, critical hit. It that's just. The 
goes like the PPC goes right out the backside. That is the somehow missed everything. Missing all of the all massive of his, amounts of, all of his LRM organs. ammo. <laughs> yeah, all of his organs and LRM ammo. Unbelievable. Okay, Man. but but can my Griffin? Still got the Griffin. But is it too deep? Ah, uh, yeah. It is three. Too deep. Yeah, it's too deep. I don't think the Griffin can shoot anyone. Can the else is dead? Can the crab? King crab? See or am I out of arc? You got your pointer. I don't know if the Griffin has IF. It has IF one. Oh, it's if it's got IF one, you can from spotting from. I already shot him and didn't declare. Remember? Yeah, but you rolled so up. well. I don't think it matters. I don't think there's a there's a penalty. Uh, I didn't roll well. I rolled a bunch of sevens, which I needed. I rolled mm. a bunch of sevens there. No, Ben, you can't help me out here. Stop trying to be so nice. I can do this though. Yeah. Uh, I can definitely do that. And it's it's range from me, but it's but it's his. So like I would take the cover for the inch of trees. Yeah. So all right, so we'll do that. And he's not shooting, so I'll just take the plus one. And then the all right, so yep. three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. For oh yeah, for range, for range right? Yep. I have one. <laughs> Here it's it comes. All you need, it's all you need. Oh, and that's him done. Yes. Oh my gosh. Who's okay. laughing at I have one now? Who's laughing at it now? All right, so that's big. Moving onward, though. I'm done shooting. He's going to bleed off his heat. He's going to bleed off his heat. Right? In terms of who controls what. We got the... You're... Are we... You're out of the six-inch zone. I'm yeah, well, you and I are both in... The Griffin... Yeah, the Griffin's yeah. over. So you control this back with the Wasp. Yep. You, you can test this with the Stinger. Yeah. So you have one, I have none, but I control this. Yep. And that's contested. Yeah. So it's another wash. Next turn is going to be a very important turn for contesting of things. If only I had VTOLs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Requisition the card off. Yeah, why not? Did you turn to take off? And... Shove us a card in the front. <laughs> All right. So turn six is coming up. I'm trying to think about your moves and my counter moves. But let's just get right into it, shall we? Yeah. All Very right, so guys, turn. we're going to record some damage. We're going to make sure everything's up to snuff, and then we're going to begin turn six. So stay tuned. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back, war gamers, to another turn of Cyborg Monkeys. Yes, a new expert. <laughs> Cy Cyborg Monkeys, the game. Cyborg, it's gonna, it's coming too. That's gonna be our our DFA first boxed set game. Cyborg oh, Monkeys. Yeah, it's gonna be a immersive RPG. It's gonna be VR, where you see through the eyes of the cyborg monkey. <laughs> Oh, Tom God. would love it. We would lose Tom in that game forever. We would. He'd yeah. become addicted. He would VR, be, yeah. VR, and it'll have that red wash like the Terminator. Yes. It looks and we'll be like, Tom, numbers. Tom, shake out. Be like, I'm not Tom, I'm Jingles, the cyborg monkey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I always assume monkeys have names like Jingles and Bobo. And well, that's because most monkeys in movies have weird names yeah, like weird Jingles names and Bobo. Yeah. Like circus names. Circus names. Yeah. Right. Speaking of circuses... Uh, so I want initiative yet again. Yeah, which is uh, which is big. So, <clears throat> tell us what you're doing, what you're thinking, how you're trying to be a spoiler. So I'm really just trying to be a spoiler. I sprinted because that was really the only way I could break the plane of this quadrant with the stinger, and uh, the wasp pulled back out of LOS. Well, I'm sorry, he didn't pull yeah. back out of LOS. Yes, he actually 
jumped into this quadrant on your side. He's back here, Stinger's over here. Yeah, and the Centurion is just trying to hold his ground here, and hopefully he doesn't, uh, just trying to claim cover bonus yeah. and, and hold strong for a turn. I, I'm, I'm not feeling optimistic for you, but mm -hmm. weirder things have happened. True that. Uh, so my King Crab and my LRM carrier were like, ooh, fresh meat. They just, yeah. they're stationary. Now in, in Alpha Strike, you can move less than one inch, right? Or less than two inches in the same yeah, thing, yeah. right? Actually, I think it's less than one inch or less than a half inch, whatever. But you can basically pivot on the spot and it still counts as being stationary. Yeah. Uh, so both of these guys are now looking at the Stinger. Uh, they're gonna roast it, bro. Get roasted. That's right. Uh, and then my Griffin did this stupid thing where it jumped in the water again. Now you can jump in water, but you can't jump out of water. Just fun fact. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can jump into water. I'm trying to but validate me. I'm trying to lure that out. But I'm well, just in go classic, with it. remember if your jump yeah. jets are in your legs, you can't jump, you out, can't of jump out of water. But if they're yeah. all in your torso, you can. Yeah. But I think Alpha Strike just assumes like you know they're not going to make that distinction mech by max, so they just say you can't jump out of water, which I I, I think that's fine. Yeah. Um, Streamlines <laughs> it. Warhammer, it, it does have a point of heat, by the way. I don't know. Oh, don't oh know. that's right, yeah. He, 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 built up heat. he built up heat last turn. Yeah, uh, I don't know where that marker went, but he uh, he basically, he did, he wasn't able to move far. He just kind of waddled up to the rock. He's got his guns pointed at that uh, Centurion as well. So we're gonna go basically here, and then, you know, he may shoot there. He may shoot at the Centurion, depending on what happens with the LRM carrier. Those two guys definitely going into the Centurion. We'll see what kind of damage we can do. You get to shoot first, though. I do. Uh, Centurion right. on the Griffin. This could be big. How much damage is... Uh, the Griffin's got so much structure. Uh, Centurion's know. three and overheats one. I'm definitely going to do that. Okay. Uh, so he's throwing four dice at you. I don't think I can kill you this turn with that. I do have case there. two. It's going to be hard to kill me. Yeah. You can. You could headshot him, though. You know, you could roll like 12s on the Yeah, crit. that's unlikely. But so we got what? Uh, we got he skill says three. That now. Yeah, skill three, four, five, six, because you jumped. Seven, because of the forest. Eight, because you are in water. Yes. Nine, nine ten, because of range. Really? Yeah. Three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine, ten. Nine, ten, because wow. of range. And I'm overheating. I'm going it could happen. Oh, my Lord. Look at that. But Three it doesn't, tips. It doesn't go internal. You needed no. four to go internal. Oh, so close. But One. you do strip him. That was quite a shot. Whew. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> so that's it for... That's it. For, well, no. Yeah, that's it for my shooting, because sprint with the stinger. Mm. Going light on, on damage output this turn. Mm. That's You're tough go. Okay. All right. So... Gonna begin with the LRM carrier. We are at, I believe, medium range. Yeah. That's five dice of LRMs. It's about, I think, I think that's 6,000 LRMs uh, based on the, my conversion. Yeah. Well, yeah, so, a little. Three, six, but minus one, so five, because he's stationary. So I need sevens. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna down the dice like, here. <laughs> it's yeah. like, do you remember playing uh, Suicide as a kid? Like, yeah. wall ball, Suicide? Yeah. Yeah. And like, you'd have to walk the wall. I was explaining this to my kids. They play some weird version of it where you don't peg each other. Like, because obviously it's 2024. Oh, yeah. 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 But I was like, well, when, I, when I we were kids. I still feel the tennis ball. Yeah, man. man. I was like, when we were kids, if you got out three times, you had to walk the wall. They're like, what's that? I'm like, you had to walk the wall. And people just got to peg you. And they're like, well, didn't it hurt? I'm like, that's the point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stinger's, some punishment for Stinger's losing. walking the wall right now. Yes, Let's see what I can wall. land. The LRM wall. Oh boy. Oh dear. That's five pips. Oh yeah, he's gone. He got <laughs> he got pegged with literally every <laughs> tennis <Everyone>. ball. He's <laughs> like, ow, ooh, ow. They threw the entire ox card at him. <laughs> oh, that poor Stinger. Release the oxen. <laughs> poor Stinger. Oh, well, my gamble did not pay off. It did not pay off. It did not pay uh, off. Now listen, Faint, I mean, hey, Faintheart never won fair cyber monkey. It's coal so. fired. All right, can't be coal fired. <laughs> and when it's you know when it's not wartime, they can make pizza in there as well. Yeah. Uh, so Fam we're famous gonna, Steiner pizza. Famous Steiner. I mean, it's it's true. I mean, there is no like Italy, is there? That's a good question. I yeah, we need to get an Italy faction, people. Let's go. Yeah, come on, Catalyst, make another, make another. We um, need a we need a new house. <laughs> culturally insensitive. Yeah, it's very, uh. I feel like yeah, 
Like seriously. A culturally insensitive stereotype of another country. They're probably wrapped up in House Merrick like everybody else. Yeah, you yeah. know, because they're yeah. like them. They're like they're they're like all the mist. Like everybody else just ends up in House Merrick. You know what? That's something that that makes House Merrick fun because you can just why do I play them anything okay. with it. They have the best pizza. The best pizza. <laughs> all right, so three, but I overheated. So four, yeah. five, six for the woods. Seven, eight, four. Range. Range. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But I'm overheating again. Nice. I'm just going for, I'm going for broke. Yeah. I mean, why not? So you were engaging in the mechanic. Oh I'm boy. engaging in the mechanic. I only get one pip. That's still going to be helpful. You know, everything counts. Everything counts. Uh, you, you know, and I figure I'd cool off next turn. Remind me that I have heat on such Oh, yes. Easy peasy. Griffin's going to be shooting the century. Good. So, uh... Skill three, four, five for jumping. Six, seven for the woods in your TMM. Eight, nine, I think, for range. Yep. <laughs> Killed more monkeys. Yeah. Uh, now, this four king four. crab does have a pip at long range. One, just one. I'm not even gonna do the math. Oh, I may actually hit you that. May, yeah, you may. So he's actually skill one because he's stationary. One. Yeah. Two for hard cover, three for the woods, four for your TMM. Five, six, is right. Five, six, seven, because long range. Oh, so yeah, it hits. Range. Yeah. Uh, all right, so he takes another pit. Not, not my best turn. Uh, you know, honestly, not, not really. Yeah. Not my best turn. I could have did more damage with, the, with those two forward mechs, but you know, that's the end of the turn. Stinger is destroyed. Stinger is destroyed. I feel so bad. Sorry, buddy. Hey, he took the gamble. He got, gamble hey, he got he some tennis balls to the yeah. face. Uh, so here's what I think. This is contested. He's in. He's between the two, which means he doesn't count at all. But the other arm carrier is squarely here. Yeah. All right. All right. So this is contested. I control this one. Yep. That's, That's contested. contested. No one controls that one. So I get an objective point this yeah. turn. Right. Now, when we go to next turn, if we were to do that, Ben, what do you think? I mean, I I don't know how you could pull this rabbit out of your hat. I can't pull a rabbit out of my hat. Because I'm going to basically jump him here. Yep. The Centurion can't see him at that point. And you can move him ostensibly far enough to contest or kill. Or kill, right? I mean, that's yeah. probably what I'm thinking. I, mean, I think I move him here. Yeah. I advance him forward. I probably don't shoot that turn. I probably, I'm actually was planning on sprinting him into the water and just cooling off. Yeah. My my big gamble to basically contest and stop that point for the turn didn't pay off. With yeah. The so that, I think that's game over. Yeah, I think so. Um, it was it was fun. I. I have to say, I do enjoy the speed of Alpha Strike. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, you know, Dan and I did a Classic one. I love the granularity of Classic. My only gripe with Alpha Strike is I want to know what I'm shooting. I miss I miss saying I'm shooting my yeah. PPC. Yeah. Right, I'm shooting, right. Um, but I do love how quickly it plays and, and how quickly things resolve and how easy it is to track damage. It's, yeah. it's great in that regard. You know, we're both pressed for time a lot. Being, yeah. Being grown-ups and dads and all. Uh, and there's a lot of people out there, like being yeah. a grown-up, they say you can, eat, you can eat anything you want, but the trade-off is you don't get to do anything you like to do all the time. You like, really don't get to eat anything you want. You really don't. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. Highway <laughs> sign says yeah, that's no, it not says a lie. Yeah, no, yeah, it says it cannot. That's a lie. So Alpha Strike for this, like we played above average unit count, right? You had an extra vehicle. I had two extra light max. Yeah. And it was a nice, short, bloody game. So yeah, it, I it, loved it. It played quickly. Played very quickly. Even even with us using the optional rules. You know? Right. So. Right, which I mean, the one to one definitely makes it longer. Yeah, the pilot die, the multiple hits, like all that stuff drags it out. Once you get into medium and short range, though, it's pretty much like yeah. game over. Yeah, but if you get um, a little extra time, you can do. Big, yeah, big company. Engagement. Ben and I were talking about like company on company type stuff, and yeah. maybe we'll maybe we'll do that one day. I think those types of games tend to end more on objective points than they do, like somebody the running away killing. with the mission points yeah. than the actual killing. Um, which is which? Maybe we'll try that down the road. Leave it in the comments. Let us know, yeah. you know, what you think. Um, I loved, you know, the the sort of the the force comp that you had because it made me choose between: do I deal with this crap 
yeah. or do I focus on the things, yeah. you know? I think I made the yeah. right call, but the dice sort of helped a lot. You know, I, I landed some. The first turn was sketchy, but then I land, I hurt that, that Crusader bad. Yeah. Um, I landed some big numbers on it. That was super helpful. Um, but yeah, an overheating mechanic is very fun. I definitely used and abused it to my to my uh, benefit, which yeah. was good. You did too, though. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, and, and you know, I did it kind of not knowing what the result was going to be, but yeah. expecting some heavy damage to my guys. And it, I think it was able to, you know, get me just like the Marauder and some other stuff. Yeah. Well, all I know is, uh, you know, the Centurion probably going to retreat into the woods. The yeah. the Wasp. It's gonna pick up Wolfgang Carlisle as he retreats yep. on his on his cyborg motorcycle. Cyborg monkey, monkey motorcycle. <laughs> the cyborg monkey motorcycle. <laughs> the centurion's coming. Come uh, with me, my monkey oh brothers, my please. It's so good. It's so good. But <laughs> this is fun. The as Battletech always. universe is open to all kinds of it's open crazy to anything. stuff. <laughs> all right. I'm writing the story tonight. Yeah. All right. Monkeys on new experts. So number one export. That's right. It's a true story. Uh, so we're gonna wrap this one up couple of things. Number one, Aries Games and Minis. Plug them earlier. Uh, it's such a great place, guys. Everything you need for Battletech and, and just all your hobbies in general. Uh, yeah. You know, Army Painter paints, they got brushes, they got, and again, all the Battletech stuff you need. They also have terrain and, and 3D printed stuff. Um, so definitely worth checking out Aries Games and Minis. I mean, almost every time I order, the stuff is out like the next day. Yeah. Um, and it's in, my, it's in my mailbox like three days after that. So it's very quick. Everything comes packaged like carefully. I order stuff off Amazon, it's like the box is destroyed, shit's damaged, like I don't wanna deal with it. You get it off of Aries, it is in perfect shape every time. So really appreciate that. And you get um, a cool sticker. You get a cool sticker. Yeah. I have so many stickers. <laughs> so fun fact, I ordered a bunch of decals off Aries Games and Minis. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I was convinced that, like I, I opened the envelope, like you know, okay. Put them on my, put them at my spot at the table, like I was gonna bring them downstairs to the studio later. Like, I forgot about it. A couple days later, I'm like, where did I put those decals? And I was convinced my wife had thrown them out. Oh no. So I was like, whatever, I just ordered more. Yeah. And then of course I found the other ones, like after the <laughs> other, after the new ones came. So now I have like, like all these Sea Fox decals and like all this stuff. Yeah, this it could happen. It could happen. So many decals. I have nice. all kinds of stuff. Um, I don't even know what to do with them. The Jade Falcon ones that were out of stock. Yes. If they're yes. out of stock again, that's my fault because I ordered twice as many as I really it's needed. It's not just your fault because I ordered Jade Falcon ones too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, Derek's a great guy. Great prices over there. Um, the other thing, if you want to help out the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Smash the subscribe button, as Tom likes to say. Leave a like. We should uh, leave some comments throughout the video. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Um, let us know if you're an Alpha Strike guy, what you love about it. Um, and if you want to get more involved in the channel, you can head on over to Patreon. Little is a dollar a month, five dollars a month, at ten dollars a month, and then there's a higher tier for elites as well. Uh, but a buck is all it takes per month to get in on the fun. Um, so that's it, Ben. Any closing thoughts? Really enjoyed it. Yeah, really enjoyed it. You know, we, we we play a lot of override. Really enjoy override. Alpha yeah. Strike is a way to get that mm. quick, that quick, quick hit. Give it to me. <laughs> Quick battle tech hit. Give me the plastic. Yeah. Um, I agree. I, I do love getting, um, you know, when we, when we did this one, like we thought about doing a 4v4 because we wanted to see how fast we could go. And then yeah. we were like, ah, we'll throw a couple extra light things in. Like I threw the arm carry through the two lights. Yeah. It still played really quick. And so force balancing is also easy. So the points, easy. It's, they add up really quick. Yeah. It's all in the master unit list. Master too, unit list is, is great. Yeah. Grand. It's fantastic. It is fantastic. So anyway, all right, well, we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, well done, sir. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Yes, and, indeed. And uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for watching. And of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Have a good night.